Okay, we're going to head over to the Contacts section of the UC Edge app by clicking on the Contact icon. Once there, you'll be presented with your subscribed contacts, which is your list of your favorite contacts inside the phone system. From there, it's going to give you your presence status, like Ken and Logan are green, which is an indication they are idle, available for a call. When it turns red, like is Logan Green, that's an indication that they are on an outbound call. Next to the avatar is their indication of whether they're out of the office, on vacation. And this is the setting that we explained earlier that can be changed under the profile. So let's go ahead and subscribe to a new contact. To do that, click on search. And I'm going to type in Watson. I'm looking up Amy Watson. And then click on the subscribe icon. Once I have subscribed to that user, let's go back to the contacts, you'll now see Amy Watson in the list. And of course, I can scroll up and down to see the, uh, my other contacts. Let's go ahead and select Amy Watson, puts her up in the notification bar, and let's do an instant message. And let's type in a quick message, and then we'll send it off to her and wait for her response. A real powerful feature in the UC Edge application is the contact group feature. This allows you to group your contacts in a logical order so you can find your contacts faster. To do that, go under the navigation drawer and turn on view groups. Once you have done that, I have my groups settings and now it has broken down external directory, corporate directory, and device directory. Let's go ahead and add a new directory. Click on Navigation Drawer, and we're going to click Edit Groups. And let's create a new group, and we'll call it Sales Team. And then we're going to select the um, contacts so that we're going to be added to the Sales Team, and click Create. And then we're going to head back to the Contact View. And now you're going to notice the sales team is part of the, as a broken out as a group. So now I can click on the icon and it will show just my sales team group. Now that I created my sales team group, let's send out an instant message to my entire team. So the first thing we're going to do is touch each user to add them to the notification bar. Okay, once I had each user in the notification bar, I can now touch on the I instant message. And now I can simply type a message. Let's say, let's, let's get together for lunch and then send out this message. Other features we have inside the instant message, you can actually change the color. Let's say red. Now I just sent out red. I also have predefined messages that I can just simply select, which will automatically type it all out for me, and then click send, and I can send it out to the entire team. Don't you hate it when you're just walking back to your desk and you just heard your phone ring and you missed the call, and you wonder who called you? Well, the UC Edge app is here to solve that problem. Uh, with the UC Edge app, I can go into the call history and see who just called me, or I can see past events. How do I access the call history feature? Well, it's done through the More, More Apps button, Call History, and then um, it will come up as call history and um, it's showing all my call history. So this is showing that group IM message I made uh, a minute ago in this demo. Same with the earlier IM message and some of the uh, uh, outbound calls and inbound calls that I made. So let's look at the Logan Green call and a couple of the features you can do. You can dial that person back. There is the uh, um, actions button there. And if I click on the Actions button, it will show me uh, where I can call the person back or send an instant message back. 
Another feature of the call history, you can actually sort it out um, by clicking where it says all. And I can say, well, let's look at instant messaging. So this is all the instant messaging history inside UC Edge app. Here's a feature I know you're gonna love. What if you want to go back and see past history of an instant message with say that last group IM message that we did? Well, we can. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna sort this out by uh, group instant message. And then I'm gonna select that group instant message. And now I can go back and see what was discussed UC Edge, wherever your work takes you. Find out more on our website at telecom.toshiba.com or download the UC Edge app.